Hello everyone, this is Erica, your newest XDA Developers TV member from my own channel, The Angel of Music 1989, with a major in human-computer interaction, which qualifies me as a gigantic nerd. So, anyway, this month's XDA Developer TV is brought to you by the Samsung Smart App Challenge 2012. Enter for your chance to win your piece of over $4 million in cash prizes by clicking the banner at the top of xdadevelopers.com or by visiting developer.samsung.com. <laughs> So the topic that I'd really love to start shedding some light on today is fast dormancy. Unfortunately, not many people really know what fast dormancy is, how the network implements it, and how it helps to save battery life on your phone. I've been talking to Super Curio, and Super Curio went and talked to Brian Klug of Anantech, who's been really interested in this topic as well. I went on XDA forums, and I've been seeing oh, so many people talking about this particular topic, so it's extremely relevant, and I'd love to get a lot of community involvement. So to look at fast dormancy, how, what exactly is it? So looking at your network normally before fast dormancy came along, you had an algorithm that was put in place by the network to tell the phone which speeds it should be at. So that was a bit annoying because there were timers that would tell which states the phone should be in. It'll go from the fastest to lower and finally off. And that would cause a lot of waste of resources and drain in power. So fast dormancy was put in place for the phone to have its own algorithm to say, hey, I'm done, and then tell the network to release it and it would close the connection. That's so much better, right? It doesn't have to sit there and go between all those different cycles and waste all those resources. So incredibly intelligent to be able to have the phone say, I'm done downloading now and to stop. But the only problem is if you don't have fast dormancy in your area or if it's not implemented properly, it can become a huge issue. In order to start understanding fast dormancy and how to check it on your phone, it is important to understand what the power states are. There are five and fast dormancy has to do with the 3G network. You need to disregard 2G networks or 4G networks as they use totally different types of technology. So 3G network only to be considered. So the five states that you have are the highest mode, which is DCH. So that is for transferring a lot of data back and forth and also uses the highest power draw. You go downward to FACH, which is a much lower power draw, still not the best in efficiency, and puts smaller amounts of data through back and forth. Then you have PCH, which is incredibly important for fast dormancy. It is a connection that doesn't have any data being transferred back and forth, but it keeps a connection to the network so that the network doesn't have to reboot itself essentially and reinitialize. It can go from that really low power draw to, hi, I'm here, and being able to connect to DCH or FACH without any issue. Then you have idle, which is the best as far as power draw, but it turns off the connection entirely and it takes about 2.5 seconds for the network to reconnect to the phone to start pushing data back and forth again. So those five different power states are put in different configurations set by your network for fast dormancy. The issue is for your network to figure out which configuration works best for fast dormancy, and I will be getting into that in the next video. But for right now, I'd like to take you over to my little lab, if you will, and show you how to start observing the power states and what they are doing. So let's go and check that out. So we're going to be observing some of the power states in my area. I have a Galaxy Note here. I do not have fast dormancy in my area and I do not have it enabled on this phone. So you go under the dialer, push star, pound zero zero one one pound, and you can check out your service mode. This is enabled for the Galaxy S, Galaxy S2, Galaxy S3, and the Galaxy Note. I have not seen it available on the Galaxy Nexus. Now watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go over to my internet browser and I'm gonna load XDA developers again. So this is after the web page finished loading. You can see it says DCH mode, which is the highest data throughput and uses the most power. In about 30 seconds, this is sped up. It hits the FACH mode. And then finally, after another 30 seconds, it decides to go to idle. Now that is not power efficient at all. You can tell that FD is not being used here because if you do see it there, it'll probably jump from the DCH mode to the PCH or maybe even idle. So thank you all for watching. This has been at I am Erica, which is my Twitter. You can also follow me on my YouTube, which is the Angel of Music 1989. And I do reviews and such over there. So please rate, comment, and subscribe to this channel and I'm being attacked by flies. 
Sorry about that. Because it's super important to help us figure out what is happening and it just really brings an awareness to this community that I've loved for so long. I've been here since 2007, basically, on the forums. So if any of you have the Galaxy S, the Galaxy S2, the Galaxy S3, the Galaxy Note, you can get into that service mode. It'd be awesome if you could say which phone you're using, what network you're on, and what you're seeing as far as behavior. That way, in the next video, I'm really gonna be covering those different configurations and what's happening with fast dormancy and if that's really optimal as far as power draw or not. There's also an app being created by Super Curio. Thank you! And that will be helping to turn off fast dormancy if you don't have it in your area because it's really gonna cause issues for you at that point. So have a wonderful day, you guys. Bye!